सो अवर क्विज एप इज रेडी नाउ लेट्स नाउ ट्राई टू अटेम्प्ट दिस एंड लेट्स सेलेक्ट सी हेयर लेट्स नाउ सबमिट द क्विज आई विल पेज द कंटेंट आई विल कीप द लेबल एज इजी एंड आई विल से जनरेट क्विज एंड हेयर द क्विज रिजल्ट इज प्रेजेंट एंड द स्कोर इज वन आउट ऑफ थ्री so as soon as i am clicking on any option the questions are getting disappeared this is a major issue we face in any streamly application how can we solve this issue this is our first project and many more to come in future in this project we will create a quiz application where we will provide some text and select the label of quiz the application will generate mcq quiz from the given text and since this will be a python project so python should be installed in your system now i will open up vs code you can use any other ide as well now we will create our project folder for that i will click on files and select open folder from here now i will go to the location where i want to create our project so i will go to the downloads and then i will select projects and here i will create a new folder and i will give the name as which app and i will say create and i will select this and i will say open now we will create a virtual environment which will separate our code and the libraries from the other projects and for that i will open up the terminal first and here i will type python3 space minus m v e n v which stands for virtual environment and now i will type the environment name which we want to create so i will write quiz underscore env and i will hit enter now the environment is created to activate this environment we will source the activate file which is present inside the bin directory so i will type source and i will give the path of that activate file so which is present inside this quiz underscore env folder and inside that bin folder is there and the activate file is there i will hit enter now now you will see this quiz underscore env in the starting of this line so which means this particular environment is activated now now we will create couple of files in our project so i will create dot env file first and i will create requirements dot txt and i will create one quiz app dot py file now i will set open ai api key as our environment variable so i will open up this dot env file and here i will say open ai api underscore key equals to now i will specify couple of libraries in our requirements dot txt file so i will say open ai then streamlit then python hyphen dot env and i will save this file this open ai library is required because we will call the open ai api eventually then we have defined this streamlit library this streamlit library is required because we need ui functionalities in our application and at last the python dot env is to load the environment variables into our python environment now we will install these libraries and for that i will run this command which is this pip install space minus r and i will say requirements dot txt now the installation is successful and now we will go ahead and write our code into this quiz app dot py file so first we will import some of the libraries here so we will import the streamlit then we will import json then we will also import os and we will import the load dot env method so from so from dot env package we will import the load underscore dot env method now we will load all the environment variables from the dot env file for that we will call this load underscore dot env method now let me write the code to set the api key into the open ai object 
let me explain the code now so here first we have imported the openai class from the openai package then we are fetching the openai api key from the environment variable and setting this and then we are creating one object of openai class and assigning this object to the client variable now we will define our method which will call the openai api and get the questions for us So this method will take two arguments one is the text content which we will provide on our front end the questions will be generated from this text only and the second argument is the quiz level and we will keep three levels here easy medium and hard now we will define our prompt template and i have already prepared the template to save our time so i will just copy and paste it here then i will explain that so this is our prompt template so at the very first we are providing our text data received from the ui then we have written our prompt so in the prompt first we are setting the context then we are defining the task to be performed so we are saying you are an expert in generating mcq type quiz on the basis of provided content given the above text create a quiz of three multiple choice questions keeping difficulty level as quiz level whatever quiz level we provide and make sure the questions are not repeated and check all the questions to be conforming the text as well then we are also saying make sure to format your response like response underscore json this particular variable below and use it as a guide ensure to make an array of three mcqs referring the following response json here is the response json now we are giving the reference of this response underscore json variable which we will set now so i will copy and paste that also so let me paste it here so this is our response json here we have defined the array of mcqs and each mcq has this mcq key where the question will be there and there are four options inside this options key and there is one more thing that we are expecting three multiple choice questions at a time you can keep this as variable or you can increase or decrease this as per your need now we will format our prompt template for that i will say so here i have taken this prompt template and we are formatting this text content this quiz level and this response json so there are three variables here and we have formatted that by putting the actual values in these variables now we will write the code to make the actual api request so this is the code to make the api request so here we are using the client variable which we have defined earlier we have defined this client variable here so we are using the same variable to call the api so we are saying client.chat.completions.create and here we are defining the model so for this particular video we are calling the gpt 3.5 turbo model you can change this model as per your use case and then here we are defining the role as user and here we are using the formatted template in the content key and these are the couple of parameters which we are using here so let's increase this maximum token as well so let's say we want to get the response within 1000 characters because we need the entire json and that will be a little bit big compared to the 256 characters so it might not be possible to fit in into the 256 characters so that's why let's increase this you can get this code from the openai playground for that you need to click on this view code select python if it is not selected already and here you go and this is the code which i have used in our project now we already know that the actual response will be inside the choices and then message and then content we have seen this extensively in the last video of this generative ai series so i will extract our response directly for that i will write this code now we will print this response also which will help us in debugging and at last we will return the mcqs from the response in the form of json our fetch questions method is completed now now we will define our main method
and in this method first we will write code for our ui so we will set the title for our application now we will create one text input box so that we can take the text content for our quiz now there will be a drop down for our quiz level so we are saying st dot select box and we have kept three levels easy medium and hard we will also convert the quiz level to the lower case now here we will call the fetch questions method once the generate quiz button will be clicked Let's now display the questions and options on UI. So this code will display the questions and the radio buttons with the options on our UI. So here we are iterating each question one by one and through this line of code we are resetting all the options for the start so that no options will be selected by default in the start. Now there will be a submit button. Upon clicking on that, we will display the result of our quiz. So let me write the code for that. So here we are iterating each questions again and based on the selected option, we are calculating the marks here. So if the selected option is equal to the correct option, then we are increasing the marks here. and at last we are printing the score based on the selected options and here we are also printing whatever option we have selected and we are also printing the correct answer as well now at last we will call our main method now let's launch the application and for that on terminal i will run one command so let me clear the terminal first and then i will run this command which is streamlit space run and i will give the name of this python file so which is this quiz app.py and i will hit enter now this is giving some error so it is saying cannot access local variable questions where it is not associated with the value let's see so the questions is here okay so this should be inside this if block actually so let's select this and push a tab so that it becomes inside this if block let's now save this and start this application again so let's quit this application and start this application again okay so congratulations our app is launched successfully this time let's close this the previous one now i have already prepared one text which is about the machine learning and artificial intelligence so let's paste that content inside this input box let me copy that first let me paste it here so this is our text which is about machine learning and artificial intelligence let's keep the label as easy for now and i will click on this generate quiz now it is calling the open ai api now So this has generated the questions but it is giving error there are multiple identical st dot button widgets so let's see so here it is the st dot button oh so this is the error actually because this particular part should not be inside this for loop so let's keep outside of this for loop let's save this and let's quit this application and start this again So I will start this again. Let's close this older one. I will paste the text again and I will say generate quiz. Congratulations. So our quiz is generated now. So our quiz app is ready now. Here we can provide our text from which we want to generate our quiz questions. Here we can select any quiz level easy medium or hard and after clicking on this generate quiz we have got this set of questions here now if i try to select any option for any question 
let's say if I select this option oops you can see the questions are getting disappeared let's fix this issue in the code so first understand why is this happening so whenever we interact with any page which is created using streamlit the page is refreshed that's why the generated questions are getting disappeared now to solve this issue first we will initialize a session state so here we will initialize that now we need to initialize one flag which is for the quiz generation so here first we will check whether the flag is already present if not then we will initialize this if this quiz generated is not present in this session state then we will initialize this as false now we will keep track on the quiz generation whether the quiz generation has happened or it has not happened yet so here we are keeping track of this quiz generated if the quiz is not generated then we will wait for the generate quiz button click and once it will be clicked then this value will be true and we need to use this particular flag now so we will replace the if condition here so we will use this flag now so i will copy this and i will use that flag here now there is one more little thing here we need to do that each time whenever the page is refreshed by streamlit we do not want to call the open ai api and get the new questions each time so we will cache the questions which are fetched from the open ai so the questions are fetched in this fetch questions method so we will cache these questions here and for that we will use one annotation on this fetch underscore questions method and which is this st dot cache data this one let's now save this file and let's now relaunch the application so i will quit the application once and i will start the application again i will close the older one i will paste the content i will keep the label as easy and i will say generate quiz so our quiz app is ready now let's now try to attempt this so let's say this is one question i am just selecting one random option here let's select this and let's select c here let's now submit the quiz and here the quiz result is present so this is the first question we have selected this and this correct answer is this one then this is the second question we have selected this and the correct answer is this third question this is selected one this is the correct answer and the score is 1 out of 3 let's now try again let me refresh this let's paste the content here let's keep the label as hard let's now say generate quiz the questions are different now let's now attempt this quiz as well i'm selecting some random options here without reading even the questions let's now submit the quiz hurray so these are the quiz results and we have scored 0 out of 3 let's now reattempt this so let's change our options once let's now submit again so this time we have scored 2 out of 3 So congratulations you have completed the quiz app now there are many projects which we are going to create in this generative ai series so stay tuned for those i hope the video was useful to you see you in the next video